Hey YouTube, my name is here and welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to make Austrian strudel from this old German book. It's called Backen macht Spaß, which literally means baking makes fun. I looked at it and it's not that old, it's from the 80s. As you can see, I already have like my own notes in there because I just wanted some reminders like to what to do. So I want me to reread in German every time. But in general, I felt like I kind of understand this better than, for instance, other texts that I read in German, probably because I can understand from the context better. So they start by saying this is, of course, Austrian and its tradition goes way back. But they also say that this is more simple than people think to make. So I hope it will work. First step is to bring the pastry ingredients to room temperature. I already did this. So it's just flour, a pinch of salt, a small egg, and some fat. So in this recipe, originally they use schmaltz, which is pork fat, but they also say that you can replace it with oil or butter. I'm using butter today just because it's my first time. I don't know, I trust butter. I didn't bake a lot with schmaltz yet. So if it will turn out well, I will upload the recipe in English to my website and you can see the link in the description below. It's pretty basic, but still, at first we start by sieving the flour onto the surface with the salt, mix it together and then make a little well and put the, the egg, some water and the fat. Since you need a small egg, I'm going to just like whisk it and use a part of this because this is a medium egg and then mix it together. I think you should like do it by hand. I don't know, this is a book from the 80s. I don't have a mixer anyway, so I will do it by hand on the surface. Definitely needs more water. I think, I have no idea, it just feels too dry. So I added a little bit of water and a little bit of egg to the mixture so it would be more elastic and it worked pretty well eventually. It took some adjustments but then it felt pretty good. So I kneaded it for a few minutes from side to side. And then you need to hit the dough onto the surface 50 times, they say. I, I have to, to show you. You see, you need to hit it on the surface 50 times wow it changes it so much i had 50 by now already let's do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now it's for sure 50. it's a great stress reliever i have to say so this is the dough i'm going to make it like a rolled ball this is so cute and then we let it rest in a worm pot for one hour it makes it more elastic and it's easier to work with and it breaks less and i think i'm going to cover it just for the sake of it i don't know it didn't say to cover it but it kind of feels like the right thing to do and then we make the filling You fry the apples in butter and then add some brandy, but I'm not going to use it because I don't have it. You need to cook it until it's half soft because it's also being baked. I uh, increase the heat to medium high. And then the sugar, cinnamon, lemon juice and lemon zest. And then you add raisins, which I'm not going to add today, and some chopped almonds. They didn't state in the recipe if I needed to add the things to the pan or to mix them all in a different bowl. So I have no idea. First, I'm going to mix the sugar with the lemon juice lemon zest and they say tip of the knife of cinnamon this is too little now i'm going to add more something like this seems logical i think it needs to be poured over I, i'm not sure i don't know what i'm doing at this point i hope this is what i'm supposed to the instructions are not that oh my god this is way too what 
It makes zero sense to me what is happening here. I have no idea what I'm doing. It doesn't, it doesn't look like this. What? At this point my camera just stopped recording, so I strained the apples. And then what you do is take a clean kitchen towel. After it rests, you take the dough and you open it to a thin layer. I'm not, I, I think it's weird to do it over. I'm not sure about that. What I'm going to do is use a baking sheet, open the dough over the baking sheet, Okay, so this is really, really big. I mean, it's way too big. Basically, what the Austrians are saying that the dough needs to be so thin, way thinner than this, then you can read newspaper from it. So it's definitely not the case here. It is very elastic. I melted some butter and now I'm going to brush the dough with it. Definitely needed to make half of the amount. Now I have no idea what I'm going to do because I have this and this. So I'm going to wing this thing. The instructions were very vague, so I really hope it will work. Maybe we can like use this a little bit. I don't know. Now I dust some sugar because I don't know how much of the liquid turned out here. So I just really hope it will work. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done strudel before. Put some cinnamon, put the almonds. I honestly have zero idea what I'm doing at this point. I'm just trying to make it look like here oh my god it's so different than what i have and then put it over the towel and use the towel to roll it over the filling i think it, it makes more sense to me than to put it straight over the i don't have this kind of uh towels that are good for this you, you need this kind you see it looks pretty nice i think it's a little too thick i'm going to use this thing i don't know and some butter i don't know it looks pretty nice this is now on the pan and it's going into the oven for 30 minutes on 200. Oh. So you can see it opened a little bit. Overall, it seems pretty nice, isn't it? Let's roll it. Oh my god, actually looks really good. Wow, what? Wow, I am so surprised by the look of it. I really hope it will be tasty as it looks. Oh my god. It is definitely too thick, but I knew it would be too thick because it's I didn't have enough space to work on, but I hope it's not dry. It looks a little bit dry. Mm. Good! I like the crunch of the almonds. Good! I was afraid it would be too sour because in the dough itself you don't have sugar at all. I think I don't have it because I didn't film it by mistake. But the instructions weren't that clear. I didn't understand what to do with the mixture of the sugar and the lemon. I think there was too much of lemon juice. I added it to the pan and it was, it looked like a, an apple soup. So I strained it. So I think that most of the sugar was in the liquid and not here, but it is still sweet enough maybe to some people it wouldn't be sweet enough but you can always use sweetened whipped cream to add with it it's a little bit too dry maybe it's also because it's the edge and maybe because we needed the liquids from the lemon juice and i, I didn't know what to do with it because i was kind of afraid that it would be too wet but in general for the first time and with vague instructions i think it's pretty decent I never done this before, so I didn't have any experience with it. So I didn't really know how it's supposed to look or be. I don't know how it would have turned from what I had to what they had, because it makes no sense at all. I don't understand when to use the lemon. You could use way more cinnamon. It could also use a little bit more sugar. But I think considering what I had, this is a pretty decent outcome. I am going to work on a recipe that will be way clearer than what I used. I think I'm going to have another small piece and eat it with sour cream mixed with a little bit of powdered sugar because you need to wet it somehow because it's a little bit too dry. And also I want to try the middle, so be right back. Okay, so I made kind of a sauce. It's pretty heavy though. From sour cream, a little bit of the liquid that was left from the apples, which has butter in it, sugar, some lemon and some cinnamon and some powdered sugar that was 
I didn't think about it before adding the liquids. Let's try it. Big bite. It's good. Very good. Since the sauce has the same flavors in different amounts that the strudel has, it really complements the pastry itself and it's very yummy. Okay, so that's it. Even though I really, I understood a big percent of the recipe, I don't know if it's me or that the recipe is just not that clear because maybe it's like a word that I didn't know that make everything logical and made sense. There was never an indication of what to do with the apples after you fry them. Do you take them off the pan? You add the things to the pan? Do you add them to a bowl? Do you just put it straight on the strudel? Nothing was clear. So I'm going to research it. I did mean to not research it before because I did want to make it by the recipe even though I omitted the calvados and the raisins. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to make other recipes from this book then tell me in the comment below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like that, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you get notifications when I upload new videos. And I hope I see you on the next video!